a good game here in Berkeley. UNLV clinging to a two-point lead against the Bears, and a main reason why the Rebels still lead Bryce to John Jones. A breakout game for the transfer from USC. Effective in the long post with his size and length. Finally able to knock down some three-point shots. He's only 26% from the three-point line coming in today, but just in a complete rhythm, especially with UNLV losing Mike Moser. They needed somebody to step up and into his shoes and fill a scoring role, and Bryce DeJean Jones has been that guy tonight. And speaking of, he's there in the huddle, so you see he's going to be coming back in this game. He's got the four fouls. That is obviously a big story for the running Rebels with the early going, even though until then his shot hadn't been going down. Sloppy play, and DeJean Jones will take it all the way for the dunk. Excellent. Look, he's got a dunk down. Nobody around him, got to throw that down. Meanwhile, smooth touch for John Jones. UNLV's offense has just gone stagnant in the second half. The elevated three is good. A big shot for Bryce DeJaw Jones. Excellent rhythm jump shot. Play Thurman had it poked away from behind. And now a foot race. Bryce DeJaw Jones with the finish. I don't like the fact that Richard Bryce Solomon needs some more movement against this zone. Too many players are just standing. John Jones, that's a long range three. And it's been Bryce DeJohn Jones first with the steal and the breakaway and the strong finish at the rim, carrying the Rebels to this lead and then knocking down the nice rhythm three point shot. The Bay Bridge, close call. Rebels have it. Now back on offense. Bryce Jones feeling it in the second half. What a game for him. This is what. Dijon Jones up ahead, and UNLV on the board. And there's another problem. It's an issue of timing. Somebody started it, as they like to say, as Dijon Jones putting better pressure on the ball. They have got to be better defenders. Dijon Jones weaving free. Nice play by Bryce to jump up, but Marshall's going to have to take a dribble over to the sideline in order to get him the ball. Yeah, nice shot. The extra pass there, and Hawkins hits. They have more than held their ground. Here's Bennett. Oh, oh my goodness! Ball game and. Boy, a good angled pass, and Bryce Johnson comes over to try to get some pressure on it, but that is a... Steve Alford, the players have done an incredible job, because Alford's a great coach, but his players have played awfully, awfully well. John Jones, the finish off the next... Because he just doesn't like the rhythm of the game. And in the corner, number two, his result, Right behind him, and Marshall makes a great pass, and goodness knows. Personal foul. Moser, next nice pass. John Jones, and the Rebels have the lead. George. Great look and a great cut. Be active. The ball goes to the low post. Go to the basket. They doubled him. Kate Reinhardt, the freshman, kicks it outside to John Jones. To John Get home. And knocking it down from outside, Bryce Deshaun Jones. The Rebels lead by seven. Conscious of helping in the paint. Deshaun Jones pulls up. Connects from three. There's a mismatch again. Kirk stuck out top with Deshaun Jones. He backs off, afraid of the drive. Deshaun Jones. Field. Marshall penetrates in. Kicks outside to Deshaun Jones. Already has two three-pointers tonight. And now has three. Bennett posted up, and they're coming to double right away. Nice and a kick great inside. pass by Bennett. And here's a pass from Bennett. They double team from the baseline side. Williams doesn't get down quickly enough. And here's Reinhardt off the pick and roll. And John Jones gets behind Fenton for the layup. Bennett the rebound for UNLV. This Nevada team was a team that was 28 and 7 and whack champs last year. There's another three. And there's just so much talent. This this Bryce Jones, a sophomore transfer from U.S. Bryce Jones looking for a screen. Moser, sort of a little. So watch how quick 
catches it and immediately it, it was it was like a mini alley -oop. it was an alley hoop from the floor but he recognized hey the defense is reacting the quick rack can get it up on the wrenches and in a hurry Bryce Jones oh with story in his face he's that had the elbow prop today he was really showing me oh my oh. Bryce Jones <laughs> Well, look at that. And it's, that's a long distance dunk. Well, look at that. And it's, that's a long distance. Dijon Jones rattles it home. A nice response. The fans got support. They make some good things happen. You're going to see right down there that was a terrific screen. That. Dijon Jones, the response on the baseline. All right, now. To move it all because they use their body so well. Six time our game tonight. Dijon Jones before. When you don't have a lot of shot guy, there, there's your guy. There's the guy. Dijon Jones pulls back and on hits Q. a great shot right on cue. The transfer from Kansas. Make sure the Runner Rebels get it back. That's pretty. Bryce Dijon Jones he started his career at USC. Two great rebounding teams here tonight. Dijon Jones. And that's UNLV's first field goal of the evening. And in their last 33 regular season games, they're 32 and 1 at home. And another three from Dijon Jones. How that election right here is a drive and a kick to a an extra pass from Ryan Hart to Bryce Jones. He knocks it down. And then the next one off another drive and kick, Anthony Marshall, another extra pass by Kate Reinhardt. Knocks that counts for like 110 points on the season just from offensive rebounds. And it's not like he's 6'8, 6 6'9, 6 he's 6'5. His talent is he plays. Deshaun Jones. Moser sets the screen. Deshaun Jones is red hot. I'll tell you, I. For the runner Rebels, Hawkins in the lane. Right, Deshaun Jones hits his first shot and a new simultaneously. Nice steal here. Dijon Jones. He's got Mosier. And Mosier basket and the foul. It's a great run out from your big in the basket. Very well for a guy who's dealing with an injury. He looks 100%. Yeah, he sure does. You look at him run the floor now. Watch him hit the ground here on that elbow. What Coach Filipovich will do in terms of when they bring him back. Dijon Jones. That's a beautiful stroke that time. Dijon Jones from the other side. Along two. All the defense is inside. You got guys stepping out. The ball moves around, knocking down open shots. It's going to be tough for Air Force to cover that much ground to cover the end. Not allowing the ball into the weak point. Marshall, good pass. Easy finish for Dijon Jones. Dijon Jones. He's not shy late in the game. Stepping up. In. We're going to get something good, but here, great shot. Dijon Jones, wow. I mean, that is a tough shot. And like I said, one you might get honks for. You might hear the horn go off and get yanked back to the bench if you miss. Quick shot, the shot clock, about 25 seconds left on the shot clock. But just a great offensive player in overtime. He's got the ball and an open look. Got it! Wow. Might... So if Air Force can get that switch again, I think that's what you got to exploit. But you look at this guy, man. Dijon Jones just making big shot after big shot. 15 points in the game. You've got, you've got to think he's working his way. He's working himself into more playing time. He's playing right out and got right after him. Well, this is what this team has needed. Somebody who wants to take the big shot. Yeah. And he's emerged tonight as that guy. And the tough thing is, I mean, Ben and I... It was a quick exit, but they are back, and they are feeling good about where they are right now. Shot clock down to nine. And Dejan Jones, a sharp shooter for UNLV. John Jones takes and down it goes. Acrobatic move to the basket and a foul. And to John Jones and one. You're in transition as he shows you right here. Takes the contact, goes under the basket, and UNLV seemingly has recovered early in the game. The winner of this game will match up with the winner of Syracuse and Montana, which we will have next here on True TV. Great defense to Sean Jones and throws a fastball right in the midsection of Alan Crabb. He's just trying to throw it off the offensive player, but this is what we're talking about. UNLV has to do a good job denying that dribble penetration. Wallace and Reinhardt. Now 
Wallace on Dejon Jones, elevates more. Dejon, you get the idea that Dejon Jones is feeling it so far today? He's played in now 21 games since. Dejon Jones for three. He's wow. off to a great start. Bryce Dejon Jones had 19 points. Four inside. His first field goal of the game. Crab quick release, but Dejon Jones got a piece. To shoot the three. They shoot nearly 20 a game. There's a turnover. And Marshall all the way to the finish line. These two programs, these two already played earlier this year, the regular season. A lot has gone by as the John Jones connect. Over weaving Marshall. And outside, big time hit. By prevents penetration into the middle. This is why. Because you get into the middle of that defense, the defense collapses. That's Dejon Jones dancing on Greenwood. Oh, a three. Back to back three. Anthony Bennett. Rebels are shooting 36%. The troll and move inside by Dejon Jones and a foul called on Bears. it up a little bit, and this is not necessarily a great shot. No passes, just dribbling out there, and Greenwood was right in his face. Obviously, Something a little bit out of Mike Mosier here offensively for the Rebels. Dejon Jones. Oh my goodness. Hits it again. That's a long two. It's an 8-2 to two run by UN. And Dejon Jones is the guy who has gotten hot. And that is key to Las Vegas run. This place is starting to get loud. It's almost five minutes. Three points in the last nine and a half. Outside shot by Dijon Jones won't go. He'll put up another three. That time it drops. 13. Plenty of time. They yeah. don't have to necessarily take wild shots. Like that. Dijon Jones! He's got 16 points. He brings the Rebel faithful to their feet. It's a three-point game with 2.07 to play. The Mountain West Championship from Las Vegas on CBS. The sophomore from Los Angeles, Bryce Dijon Jones, has scored all eight points in this 8-2 run by the Running Rebels. And he has tied the game for the second time in the second half now at 44.